Hi beauties, welcome back. All right, we are chugging along, trying to get through September's unboxings. Uh, if if I don't know how these are gonna post, just, I'm like five days, no, four days away from my wedding. Things are really crazy right now. We are where we are, we're chugging along. So yeah, so we've done the Boxy Charms unboxings, the the regular Ipsy's unboxings, now we're here for the Ipsy Plus. I put Ipsy Plus as the last this time, normally film that first. I put it as the last for this particular month because I was highly disappointed with this. This is one of the least valuable bags I think I've ever had to choose. Um, I was just not satisfied, so yes. If you guys are new, what we do with this Ipsy versus Ipsy is my mother has an Ipsy Plus, I have an Ipsy Plus. Each month I take them both, I unbox them together. I look at the 10 products we received, I pick out my favorite of the bag, of each bag as like a whole, and then I pick out my five favorite products from the 10 that we got. Um, yeah, I don't remember if mom liked hers or not. I think she did. I remember being like, mine was so bad. Uh, I don't remember what I got, but I remember it being like, the value of my bag was like, barely like $150, I think. Maybe it was like $140, it was not good. It was, it was bad. I just didn't like any of it. So, and I didn't have good choices. So yeah, maybe I'm remembering it too harshly. I don't know. We're gonna start with moms, we always do. So here we go, into moms. Love the bag though, my God, the bag is so precious. Like I just, oh, just love it. Everything about it, love the vibe, love the energy. Big fan. There's six products in here, so I'm assuming she bought one of them, but I don't know what she would have bought. So I'm just gonna show you guys each. First thing we have is Shades by Shan, a bronzer. It's a weird looking bronzer. That looks super orange to me. Doesn't it? I don't know. Am I crazy? Maybe it's the lights. I don't know. Nice size. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a bronzer. Do I think it's gonna look good on the skin? I don't know. Not mine, it'd be my mom, so she'd have to test it and let me know, but I don't know. Anyway, moving along. All right, next thing we have is a Koyo Clean Skin Care. It is a Soak and Glow Face Cream, so it's just like a nice little face cream. I know nothing about it, but let's see what it says. Massage into clean, dry skin, allow it to absorb. Okay, yeah, so it's just a moisturizer. It's with hyaluronic acid and squalene. I've never heard of that, but yeah, kind of small. I'm gonna be honest, it's really, it seems really small for a full size product, I don't know. The hard thing is I don't have the prices either, so I can't even tell you if like, I feel like it's really expensive or not, but I don't know, it seems small. All right, next thing we have is from Canalogica, and ah, yes it is. It is a CBD paste product, and I believe I got this as well because I think I picked it just because I love CBD products but it is a hydration facial oil. And uh, if you guys have been with us for a while, you know, I really discovered that I just love cannabis CBD based products. Just think that they do wonders for my skin. Um, in fact, the eyeshadow palette I used uh, under what I've got going on here with the glitter and the, uh, the eyeliner, that was a, a CBD based palette that I got from Pure Cosmetics, love it. I just love it. I just love, I love what it does. So yes, good size probably gonna be a good product. I feel like my mom would use it. She uses a lot of face oils and stuff like that. So I feel like it would be probably a good product for her. Then us. Next thing I have is a palette from The Bomb and The Beautiful. Um, pretty palette, very neutral, very much The Bomb's aesthetic. We all know, like if you've been with Ipsy for any length of time, you've seen probably a million Bomb products come through your little Ipsy bags. Workable palette. I think my mom will definitely use it. Um, I can't remember, I might've gotten this as well. Um, and I think that they picked it for me if I got it. Like, I don't think I chose that. I think that was one of the two that they chose for me, but I don't remember. We'll see in a minute. I always do this. I guess what I have, like I try and remember and it's like, it's sitting right here. We'll get, just calm down. We'll know in a minute what you got. All right, next thing I have is a East 29th Vital Serum. So we've got another serum and I'm assuming she probably bought this. If I had to guess, this is probably an addition. Uh, I may be wrong though. I just don't, I don't imagine her choosing two serums in one, but if it was really bad, then maybe she did, I don't know. This has hyaluronic acid, uh, niacinamide, lemon rind extract, and vitamin C and E. Sounds good to me. <laughs> That's a lot of ingredients that I like to use, so sure, sounds like it would work. And then the final thing we have is a uh, Color Boss Squad. It's an eyeshadow quad from Il Makage. Gorgeous, that's really pretty. This actually might've been the one she bought because I think I saw this in the add-ons. I don't know, why do I do this? I always guess shit that I just 
have no business guessing because I have no earthly clue what the right answer is. But yeah, pretty. I like it. I like Il Makaj. I don't know if I ever, I don't know if I'm saying it right every time I say it, but I'm going to just say it with confidence and hope for the best. So I like, uh, we've gotten several products from them through Ipsy. I like all of the ones that I have received. So yes, I think that's, yeah, tight. Her bag's not bad. Her bag's not bad. Whatever. I feel like that's how I felt this whole year with like this, all the subscription boxes. Like Boxy's had a couple, I just feel like there haven't been a lot of stars. There's not been a lot of boxes where I've been like, this was one damn good month. Maybe that's just me. Moving along to mine. Let's see what I got. Let's see if it's as bad as I remember it. I only got four products. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So I guess I need to go figure out what the f they didn't send me. Yeah, four products. All right, so what did we get? Well, I got a Neogen Derm Dermology A Clear Soothing Foam Cleanser, good size. So I got a face wash. I got a super hyaluronic amino acid cleanser. So a, another cleanser. I got a Laura Geller foundation and I got a Laura Geller blush. I can't explain to you just like, it's not, I don't, is it disappointment? Is it rage? Is it, dis, is it just shock? I don't know. I don't, what am I missing? Okay. So in my seething rage of what was already a bad bag, cause as you guys can tell, terrible bag. Um, I did go and I looked up to see what I had ordered and I was supposed to get this as well. So yes, I'm missing that. So they not only shorted me a product on a month that I already was like, this is not a good month. It's just a general, it's just, I'm, yeah. I, I'm almost at a loss for words because I just, it's like, okay. Here's what I'm gonna say. I will say, honestly, these two products right here, worth it the price, in my opinion. I love, I love Laura Geller's stuff. Her baked blush collection is one of my favorites. The foundation I have not tried, but I feel like I'm going to really, really enjoy it. Yes, so these are good products. I'm not going to dispute that. I would, for two, for these two, I would pay $25. So, and then I get the bag, the bag's cute. Um, two nice size cleansers, hard to, hard to complain about that either. Nice, good, good sizes. We'll definitely get use out of them. Yes. So it's unfair to say it's a horrible bag, but it's clearly not a variety bag. I got two Laura Geller products and yes, yes, I got to choose them. But I remember I chose the best shit out of what they offered me. So I got two cleansers and then I got a Laura Geller foundation and a Laura Geller blush. So, and then I got shorted a product, which was also supposed to be a face product. So I just really bad month, really bad month. And unfortunately I just did October's and I also was disappointed with October's. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember the value of that bag was super low as well. So I just, I'm just feeling really disillusioned with all of the subscription services right now. I feel like it's really bad. I don't know if I should try changing my age like my mom did, even though I'm not older. I feel like maybe if I put myself in the early 20s, maybe I'll get more makeup stuff. Maybe I'll get a different variety of stuff. I don't know. I'm just feeling very disillusioned with it. Um, I guess I need to reach out to Ipsy. I don't know. It's hard because they, they'd be probably be like, why didn't you let us know in September? And I'd be, I don't even have words. I don't even have it in me. Obviously mom's bag wins. There's no question. Mom's bag wins. But I like my, I like my, I like these two. I like these two. That's the best you're getting out of me this month. I'm sorry. I, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me, let me know. I need time to process this. Okay. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're all safe and healthy. I hope you have a wonderful day and you stay girly at the dark twist.